Hello, this is Brian from NPower and this is a very short video on the basic operation of your Honeywell programmer. To access the controls for your programmer, lift the flap like so. The first thing we want to do is set the time and date. Move the slider up to date and the date will flash. You can change the days of the month by using plus or minus buttons. When you get to the correct day, press OK. The month will now flash. Again, press plus or minus to get to the correct month. Press OK. The year will flash. Press plus or minus to get to the correct year. Press OK. Time will now flash. Um, to get to the correct time, press plus or minus buttons. Press OK. Your unit will now tell you that the date and the time is complete. The next thing you will want to set is your on and off periods for your central heating. You will see that Monday is flashing and 6.30 and this is your first time in the morning. Now, I've set mine to 6.30 as that's when I want the central heating to come on. So I press OK. And the temperature there, 22, is a bit high for me. I will set it down to 21 and press OK. Program 2 is now flashing. This is when you want your heating cycle to turn off. I've got mine set for 8 o'clock. You can use plus and minus to adjust. Press OK. And the temperature is now flashing. And now you will set the minimum temperature that you want your house to go down to. Um, I've got mine set at 10 degrees. You could alter it for your personal preference. Once you've set it, press OK. That's you. you have set your on and off for the morning period. Um, there are three ons, three offs. Personally, I don't use three ons and offs. I only use two. So I'm going to disable three. To disable programs, uh, program number three, press the information button for two seconds and you'll see it says disabled and it moves on to four. I don't want four either. Press the information button and again it will say disabled. Program five is now flashing. This is the evening program. I want my heating to come on at six o'clock. Again, you can adjust it by the plus and minus until you get to your desired time. Press OK. Your temperature flashes. Again, you can adjust it to suit your own desired temperature. Press OK. Off time in the evening, I've got it off at half past 10. Again, you can adjust it for yourself. Press OK. Your temperature, again, the minimum temperature you want in your, your property for the evening. I've got mine at 10 degrees. Press OK. You have now set the complete day for Monday. Between Monday and Friday, I want identical times. So I would press copy day and copy Monday to Tuesday. Press OK. Press it again, copy Tuesday to Wednesday, press OK, press copy D again, Wednesday to Thursday, press copy again, Thursday to Friday. Days copied. If I then press D, it will move me to Saturday. Now Saturday is a long lie in for me, so I don't want it coming on at 6.30. I've set it for 8.30. Again, by moving your plus and minus buttons to your desired time. Press OK, temperature, plus or minus is your temperature, press OK, it moves to off, I've got my heating off at 10am on a Saturday, press OK, temperature again down to 10, you could press plus or minus, press OK, I've missed out program, I've disabled program 3, press OK, I've disabled program 4, press OK, Program 5, coming on at 6 o'clock in the evening, press OK. Temperature at 21, you can adjust to suit your own desired temperature, press OK. Off at 11pm on the Saturday, press OK. And the temperature again, 10 degrees, could be adjusted by yourself, press OK. I'm now going to copy day and I'll copy Saturday to Sunday. And that's me, I have now set the whole week. 
if we then put the programmer into the auto position, the programmer will then run to the settings that we have programmed into the unit. Now, by pressing the information button, you will see the desired temperature, which for myself was 21. After a couple of seconds, the temperature will, the display will drop back and show you the actual temperature in the, the room, where it is at the moment, it's 19. You will see that the actual flame light is on. That tells you that the heating is on and running. You have an, another option. You could move the slider to manual. That will keep your central heating on 24 hours a day at whatever temperature setting you wish to program into it. And of course, you have your off position at the bottom. Your central heating is now off and will not function at all. If we have you up in the auto mode, you will see a champagne glass here. This is a party function. If you press it once, you will see party duration, one hour. If you use your plus and minus buttons, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours. It's a long party at this point. But if you want your here heating to go on past its set time, you can use your party function for six hours and press OK and it will keep it on for one, two, three, four, five, six hours. I'll move my central heating back to off at the moment. There are also um, days off functions and holiday functions, which I would refer you back to your user booklet. The days off function is if you're on holiday, but you're staying at home, it will copy the Sunday times by number of days, just press the button, hit number of days, press OK, and it will run for that number of days. Your suitcase is holiday, this is the number of days that you're away, it will then stay to you um, off and it will be on your lowest temperature. Again, just set your, set your date and your number of days and press OK. I hope this has been of some use to you. Thank you.